Brenda, and we're here to show a what, like 10 minute makeup tutorial. Quick 10 minute bronzy makeup look that I did on Sharon right here. Doesn't she look gorgeous? I think it came out really good. My yeah. skin looks bomb, I think. You did a really good job. Yeah. Water. So if you guys want to see how Brenda got me looking this gorgeous, which I'm not naturally always <laughs> looking this good, uh, keep on watching. So I've already prepped my skin, I put moisturizer on, I did my eyebrows because ain't nobody wants to see me do my eyebrows, that's never fun. Um, so you can go ahead and get started. So today we're going to use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, this is a really good primer, it um, really camouflages pores, it really makes the makeup last a long time. My hands are sanitized and this is like one of my favorite primers. It's super, super thin. I know it looks like it's giving a white cast, but it really doesn't. Um, it feels so good on the skin. It's like silk. I love this stuff. It's like silk. See? I think Hourglass still just makes one of the best primers. I think it's like the number one primer in Sephora. That's what the girl was saying. Yeah, it's such a good one. And it's not really matte. It just makes your makeup last really is it like a smoothing primer you know i feel like it does help with pores and stuff mm -hmm. it really does smooth but it doesn't add like any like a thick layer you know some of the smoothing primers have right. a lot of dimethicone mm -hmm. i feel like this one doesn't like it's it's just such a good smoothing primer and it just it does help make the makeup last i think someone told me it even makes it waterproof i don't no, oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, we should do a test, like do a full set. Dunk your face. Yeah, <laughs> we should go swimming and do a test and make sure that it lives up to its yeah to its name. <laughs> so, again, I'm doing this on Sharon. Um, obviously, if you're doing it to yourself, you're a lot quicker when you're like blending it in and stuff. Um, so we're using that primer. Always prime your skin, and I say when you're in a rush. The skin is the best, the most important thing to focus on because um, that's going to make you look the most put together and fresh faced. I think so too. Um, the other foundation we're going to use, we're going to use a foundation called the Kevin Aquan Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. This is a beautiful medium, like sheer to medium coverage. Um, I really like it because it gives like a luminous glow to the skin. But it's not too dewy, and I'm using this Real so Techniques, techniques yeah. uh, Beauty Blender, and you really just want to bounce it into the skin. You like using the Beauty Blender over a brush? Yeah, I do because, well it depends on the foundation, but I feel like when you're in a rush, you could do this in like a minute and be done. Mm -hmm. Obviously when you have more time, the more you blend it, the more seamless it's going to look. But um, the Beauty Blender just adds like a sheerness to the foundation, mm -hmm. so it never looks heavy. It's kind of goof proof. It never looks heavy and it blends it so. Yeah, I think Beauty Blender always makes your makeup yeah, look the best. Sometimes with a brush, if the foundation is really thin, it can look kind of streaky. Yeah, I think so too. So we're just going to blend a little bit more. Again, I have a little bit of breakout to so make sure to cake on the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you can always just spot conceal with breakouts because you don't want to look like right. too much. Too much, yeah. Especially during the day. Yeah, you want like a fresh face look. And then you always want, even if you're in a rush, you always want to blend it down the neck. Oh, it's the and worst when you have like yeah. the, the line. The line. With the foundation. Mm -hmm. and, and even just get the ears a little bit. Oh yeah, you gotta make sure you get the yeah. ears. And definitely blend it into mm -hmm. the hairline. Yeah. And I mean, I won't usually put any more foundation, just whatever's left on my beauty blender, but. Oh, for the neck? Yeah, for the neck. How long does this look usually take you? I mean, like, if I'm in a real rush, I could do it in, like, probably eight minutes. Oh, like, wow. That's pretty fast. 
because the trick is you don't really want a very heavy foundation because mm -hmm. that's going to take a lot longer to blend everything out and right. you're going to notice that like if it's not done right you're going to notice like patches that you missed but this is like a nice like your skin just you already have good skin but this just gives it like a nice pull together glow the good thing about the kevin aquas since i have dry skin it's like perfect for dry skin yeah but you said you mix your foundation with something the kevin aqua foundation i like to mix it because i have kind of combination skin mm -hmm. i like to mix it with um the ysl all hours foundation oh that's a good one too and it kind of gives it a more matte appearance now i'm gonna use the makeup forever ultra hd concealer in the color y33 i love this concealer and i'm just gonna dot like you barely need any less is more when you're in a rush um you just don't want it to look super cakey or too thick and i always use this and when i'm in a rush i use this as my eyeshadow primer too mm -hmm. and so close your eyes i just kind of bring whatever's left over from my sponge I bring it onto my eyelid and then I'll set it with like a the same translucent powder. Yeah, that'll definitely save some time. Yeah. And to put a primer on, on your lids as yeah. well. Yeah, no one got time for that. No. Especially when you're in a rush to go to work. Or yeah. I only have like five, ten minutes. <laughs> you want to sleep before, in. Yeah, no, before possible. my baby starts screaming for me. <laughs> I feel like my skin has also changed since I had a baby as well. Oh, like, really? Yeah, my skin was never this dry. I always had, like, I would say even, like, oily skin. Oh, really? It was never this dry. Yeah. And then recently, actually, yeah, I would say right after the baby, my skin definitely changed. Got drier. So I so, feel like my old foundations before I had the baby, I can't even use those anymore. It just doesn't look as nice as they did when I had oily skin. Yeah. So whatever's left over from your concealer, I tend to kind of just put it in like your T-zone mm -hmm. where you want to highlight a little bit. And just whatever's left over, don't, I wouldn't add any more. So now that that's done, you want to set your under eye. So I'm going to use the um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And again, just a little bit a little goes a long way. You just can even tap off a little bit just to set it. And again, you're doing this super quick because it's going to be on yourself. You put that on the eyelids too? Yeah. So close your eyes. And it will just set whatever primer we put up there, the concealer. And we're going to, the key is too, when you're in a rush, the less products you use, the quicker it's yeah. going to be. Look up a little bit. So you like kind of use like one product for like three for, things. Yeah, <laughs> so like I'm, so for bronzer, I'm going to use the Guerlain, um, this is a new one. It's the Le, oh, I'm going to butcher the name, Healthy Glow powder in number four. Now, if you have oily skin, you could set your foundation right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little, I'm just gonna put the bronzer on without setting. Is this that bronzer you bought at the Sephora, Sephora sale? Mm -hmm. I love it because it gives a really nice, healthy glow. It gives like a luminous look to the skin. And that's what you want when you're in a rush for like a daytime look. And you can't really like, you kind of contour with this? I, or? yeah, no one has, to, I don't have time to contour, mm -hmm. so I just put this along like the cheekbones, like underneath the cheekbones, and then like a three, and you do underneath here. And this is just a quick everyday look, so you don't have to be super worried about super contour, chisel. Yeah. You just, just want some definition to your face, and you want to look awake, and summary and you can even just do a little bit across the nose mm -hmm. yeah nobody has time to contour the nose huh? yeah <laughs> i and love then, to contour the nose though when i do have time but usually during the day i don't really yeah like if you're time. going out at night and stuff. yeah and this just warms up the complexion yeah 
never skip out on the bronzer no matter how late you're running it i helps. feel like yeah, yeah. you um cannot skip out on the bronzer it's the one thing i never skip out on i'll probably skip out on foundation and primer before i skip oh, out really? on anything else that's just me though so the next we're going to do blush and i it depends on what you like but i like to do a more luminous blush this is milani luminoso 05 and i like to use a luminous blush because you won't have to use a highlighter it kind of serves as both a blush and a highlighter but because we have a little bit of time i'm still going to use a highlighter on sharon but this just gives like a healthy glow to your cheeks and that's a drugstore blush too yeah so it's like super cheap and now we're just going to kind of set the whole face and you want to make sure everything's blended in so i'm going to use this physician's formula uh physician's formula youth wear bait in color beige it's like an illuminating it's pretty it's pretty much translucent but it's just an illuminating powder that and you could use for touch-ups what kind of brush are you using oh that's right i'm using an elf you know i don't know what uh brush this is but it's an elf Big Elf powder brush. I think it's the big powder, powder brush. brush. Elf has come out with some really good brushes. Yeah. And you just want to blend everything in. Like this takes literally two seconds. And you just want to blend your bronzer, your blush, everything into your face. And then finally you want to do um, some highlight. And I really like this Milani one from the drugstore. It's um, in the color strobe light. You probably can't see that. But... Um, this just kind of again brings more features out you won't look so flat it gives you a nice luminous glow Ooh. oh wow look at that and you put it on the tops of your eyebrows i'm actually going to use this in the inner corner if i have a little time but yeah this you can use this as like a brow bone highlight again the less products you use the quicker you could go because you're not grabbing it for everything is that a good brush too what brush is this this is the nyx professional makeup brush number 24. it does a good job it like they just opened up a nyx store a cosmetic store in century city mall oh Have really in there no i haven't yeah they just i that's where i saw that brush so for eyes, I'm just going to use um, the bronzer again uh, that we use for her face. And honestly, you just do it in the crease. And this is just going to give you some definition. It will make your eyes look way more open and awake. And it will kind of tie the whole look in because we're going to go for like a glowy, bronzy look. And this is um, a really good uh, makeup brush. It's the Wayne Goss 06 makeup brush. Where'd you get that from? Um, actually, I ordered it off of Beautylish, and because I heard his brushes were amazing, and this one, it's like a flat brush, but it blends. It really blends really well, and you could use it for like, like this is the only brush I use sometimes for the whole eye. Oh, really? Yeah. How much do his brushes usually run for? This one, I mean, honestly, I kind of feel like it was the same as like MAC prices. I want to say this was like... 26 maybe so, 28 so not on the higher higher end but not on the cheaper end either no yeah he i mean his brushes are made in japan mm -hmm. and they're all um made by hand i believe so that's why it's a little bit more expensive but they're super that super feels soft. nice yeah that feels really nice so you just kind of go in with a light hand you just want a little bit you're not really doing too much detail work you just kind of do it on the outer v into the crease you turn the brush to the side to kind of fan it out a little bit yeah that brush feels really nice yeah i think i'm gonna have to look into that they don't sell it in stores it's only no, online. only online and you can use actually i'll do this i'm going to take the brush and i'll use just a teeny bit look up underneath the eyes it's like a one and all huh yeah you could probably use it to contour your nose as well huh probably yeah i usually i'm not a big nose contour 
for a person. Well, because your nose is perfect. Well, no. But, um... Some of us need to contour <laughs> to make that <laughs> nose look a little bit smaller. And you can even use, like, a, a little or a smaller brush that's more packed with denser bristles. Yeah, but, but when you're in a rush... When you you're in a rush, you use, again, less products and less brushes. And then finally, I'm going to use a, one of my favorite products. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize um, Pots in the color Bet. And I'm just going to go in with my finger and literally just pat this on, tap it on, and keep your eyes closed for like a second until it sets. And this is such an awesome product because it, oh, I got some on you. It pulls the whole look together. And it looks like you really spent a lot of time and you did it. And I feel like you can take that into a night look as well. Yeah, right? just throw some eyeliner and some lashes and, and you're, you're like good for a night look. Um, oh wow, that makes like such a big difference. Right? And then you just need some mascara, which... Over here. Oh, there you go. Actually, if you want, I can go ahead and do it. Yeah, I, you're so, probably quicker at it than I am. I just want to make sure we tell them what kind of mascara this is. It's the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. I've been using this mascara for a while, and I really like it. it gives you kind mm -hmm. of that false lash look. And is that all you put on? Yeah, that's it. And then I could do a little bit, actually, if you have a second, you could do a little bit of highlighter before you run out the door. Oh, you mean like in, in the, the inner corner? Inner corner yeah. Inner corners. And you can use the same Milani. Yeah, this mascara is amazing. And if you don't have time to do your eyes with the bronzer and that eyeshadow, you could literally just put the mascara on and it'll, you'll and you'll still, be good yeah. to go. Mascara makes the biggest difference. Like curling your lashes and doing mascara really opens up your eye and makes you look awake. Yeah, but I think so too. Definitely need the mascara for sure. Do I need to get my eyebrows done? <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Wow. Can't believe you let me go on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were probably staring at them and saying I they need to get my that. eyebrows done. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight in the, the inner corners. In the inner corners, yeah. Because I feel like that really does help. Gives a little pop. Yeah. It kind of opens up the eye a little bit. There you go. And then to finish it off, you do a little setting spray, and then you're... I always do my setting spray before the mascara. Oh. That's what I, I probably should have. That's a good idea. Did I save it? Did it look... Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. And then my lip gloss. Oh yeah, and I always say do a really a nice uh, lip balm or do... Um, this is the new Fenty Beauty lip gloss set. Yeah, Did universal. I say that right? Fenty. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, she only came out with like one lip gloss. I think she came out with more now, but when her line first came out, she just had this one lip gloss. And, and it's a nice universal color, and it's like a good everyday color. Yeah. It really does pull the look together and just gives you kind of like that gloss you need to run out the door. Mm hmm. I think. And now you're good to great. go. Wow. You saw how I looked before. <laughs> I look so much put together now. <laughs> and when you're not filming, obviously it takes it's a, a lot quicker. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys. So if you like this easy makeup tutorial, make sure to press like and to subscribe to our channel as well. Uh, hit the notification button, the little bell, and uh, give us a thumbs up. Put any comments down below of any videos you would like us to do, and we'd be more than happy to do them. Thanks again for watching, guys. Next time. Bye.